let us learn how to formulate a stoving enamel paint. In this case, I have considered only white paint. See, usually uh, we know a paint consists of the following components. You have got the pigment and binder. Then we have solvent part and there will be some additives. So the in this case the pigment is titanium dioxide rutile and here we have got the resin in the case of stoving enamel we had to use a short oil non drying non yellowing all kits is all kit resin and along with that we have butylated melamin formaldehyde resin so these are the two types of binders we use one is short oil non rind non alloying all kit another is butylated melamin formaldehyde resin usually it's called mf that is BMF, butylated melamin formaldehyde resin. And this is all kit resins or short oil all kit resin. Short oil all kit resin. And here its solid content is 70% uh, in xylene. It means they would have taken 70 gram of uh, this oil and made up to 100 ml with the xylene. So this is called 70 percent solid content short oil oil cake. And here it is taken as melamine formaldehyde in alcohol suitably butanol. It is a 55 percent in butanol or a combination of alcohol it means this is available as a liquid of 55 percent solid which is dissolved and made up to 100 using butanol and now let us work out the formula and before that let us try to understand some of the additives required here. So you need to have some um, that is surfactant. Surfactant means wetting agent. So it can be these are all branded names only wetting agent and uh, you may have to add some anti-settling agent also. So this occupies very very small portion only. And the major solvents are xylene. Here you can take xylene. 
and uh, some high aromatic hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbon mixtures. In the market, there are a variety of uh, solvents available. And then we have to we have to use the acetates like butyl glycol acetate, butyl glycol acetate. So by combining all these solvents, you can have better flow also, and we can maintain the viscosity. Usually this kind of butyl glycol acetate, they, uh, with this we can get a good leveling effect and they are all high boiling liquids, so high boiling point. They have high boiling point and you can have better leveling by using this. Now we have to formulate the paint. And in order to acquire a suitable shape, we may have to add some very small amount of tinters like iron oxide yellow or carbon black in order to improve the hiding power and in order to obtain the correct shape. Okay? Right. Now, we have the formulation let us work out the formulation here so usually you can write down the raw materials here number raw material and you can work out the solids also here then its parts by weight, weight in gram, then how much is the volatility, so volatility or volatile component, so likewise you can work out. So the first material is, let us go ahead with the short oil oil kit resin and uh, how much is the solid content the solid content is 70 percent 70 percent as solid and we take the weight uh, roughly 39.4 so if it is 39.4 and uh, if the solid is 70 percent now we can work out the actual solid because it is, this is the dissolved resin is it not so we have to work out the solid so how to work out the solid let me work out here that is we have to take 39.4 as liquid but we want to find out the solid actually so when we take a hundred you have only 70 if it is 39.4 so you should be multiplied so 39.4 into 7 divided by 10 39.4 into 39.4 into 70 So 27.58, 27.58 means 27.6 we can take. So this is the actual solid we have taken and this is the binder part and what is the another binder, melamine, butylated melamine formaldehyde resin. Its solid content is 55%. And we have to take 
So 21.5 means how much I should take 21.5 into 55 divided by 100 that is 11.8 so 11.8 is the solid content 3 the titanium dioxide TiO2 how much I have to consider? 23.6. So the same solid 23.6 only. Okay. And uh, let us work out the volatile liquid, volatile portion. So it is a volatile is a found to be, it is as per the manufacturer's detail 11.8. And this is 9.7 this is the volatile part and we are taken here xylene as the solvent we are taken 5 so the volatile means everything will go off solid will not go and high aromatic solvent we can take 6.5 so 6.5 everything will go off and then we can take uh, methoxypropanol another solvent propanol means it is an alcohol we are taking 3 so all 3 will go and we can take butyl glycol acetate to get a better leveling effect. So butyl glycol acetate. So here it is one. So all the one will be evaporated. So this is the volatile portion. You can find all the solvents will be volatile type only. And in the case of resins, you have this much amount of solvent portion that is volatile. So the actual solids are here. So what is the actual solid? Let us work out the total. 6 plus 8, 14 plus 6. 20 balance 2 5 6 13 balance 1 3 4 6 so 63 gram solids and what about the total weight of the paint 100 gram and then what is the volatile portion volatile portion is 8 plus 7 15 20 balance 2 3 6 12 17 17 and then 26 37 now we can declare the solid content the solid content of paint is equal to 63 okay and the volatile content volatile content of the paint is 37 so this is gram this is gram and the total paint is 100 gram now when you are asked to calculate the percentage solid of paint is 63 percent you can declare it means the remaining 37 percent will go off as vapor so this is the basic one you should know now we have arrived at this is the 63 percent solid content of the stoving paint let me continue